we'll guide you through how to get live animated wallpapers in Windows on a PC or a laptop. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So you may be bored of just having a static wallpaper, so you want to go and have a moving one, and we can go and do this for free. So make sure it's this guide step by step. To go and do this, we do need an app. So come to the bottom of your computer and click on search and you need to go and type in Microsoft Store. So we can get the app from the Microsoft Store, which is super easy. Come to the top here and you want to go and type in Lively, like so. It's actually called Lively Wallpaper, but it should come up with Lively. Here it is, go and click on it. Then all you need to do is go and click on Get over to the left here and it should start downloading and installing. After it's finished, it will then go and say open, which you can go and click on and it should now go and open up as you can see. You can go and select one from Lively's library here. As you can see, they've got a good selection. But if you want to go and get another one, what we can do is come to YouTube, but there are other websites as well. So I went and searched for live wallpaper car, but you could add something else. In this case, I'll go and use this one here. And then all you need to do is go and copy the URL like so, right click and press copy. Then what you can do is return to Lively and click on add wallpaper at the top. You can come down to enter URL and you can go and remove this current one here. Then you can right click and go and press paste. Go over to the right and click on the arrow and it will then go and load it. You can give it a title if you want to. I won't though, I'll just press OK and it will then go and add it to the library. And like so, it's now being used. It may take a couple of seconds to fully load it if it looks a little blurry for you. What you can do is go to the top right and you can click on the settings. In some wallpapers, there may be volume. I like to go and turn that to zero. If you've got dual monitors, click on one active wallpapers at the top and you can then choose how the placement method works. In this case, I just like to have duplicate like so. If you found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.